Okay, so here we have a simple WooCommerce shop and let me quickly show you how easily and simply it was built. If you look here in this corner, you'll see is a template file name which is template list customer add points. And if we go to the back end and find that template, which is this one right here, and then try to see how it was built and go down a little bit and we see around here it's done very simply by echoing a WooCommerce shortcode called products. And when that happens, by default, this product list shows up, but they all come with a link to the single product page. Like if I click here, it's gonna end up in a single product page. This is uh, not styled in here because I don't need it for this project. What I'm trying to do is keep this very simple so that these products will display like this and only buttons gonna work are these just the add to cart buttons so that people can simply go and view cart like this but what i'm trying to do is to disable these links here and these links so that it doesn't end up to a single page like this so let's go find out how to disable this product links from a simple WooCommerce shop page. Okay, so I'm back at the code and first thing I'm gonna do is to find my functions file. And if you look here, this is how I organize my function codes. Basically, I create a folder called under underscore functions and then the name of the project and then the subject would be WooCommerce so WooCom and then the function files. In this specific case, I'm gonna be focusing on this file right here, generalhelpers.php. So let's go find that. Here it is, uh, the underscore functions and WooCom and right here is our file. Now let's write the code necessary to remove those links. Since we are removing links, which was there by default, so we have to use remove action instead of add action. And then we'll call in a WooCommerce hook called WooCommerce before shop loop item. Now we'll add a default function, which we will get to in a second. We just let us just set it up and let's say the priority is set to 10. And in this case, we're gonna to have to do two of them. Let's repeat this one. One is before shop loop, the other one would be after. Because basically what we're doing is we're removing the anchor link around these guys, the A tag basically. And to do that, we're going to bring in two default functions, which are the first would be WooCommerce template loop product link open. And the other one is WooCommerce template loop product link close. Basically, what this is the opening A tag, and this is the closing A tag. So let's just grab them from here. Let's go back. And the first one, since it's the opening tag, according to this hook, it says it comes before the shop loop. So this is where the opening one goes. And the next one would be here. And that one will be the closed one, like this. OK, so now that they're in place, let's save it. And we're going to go ahead and refresh. You see a small change there. And now, if I hover over, it no longer changes into a hand icon. And if I click on them, nothing happens. So we have just successfully removed the product links from a WooCommerce shop so that they no longer take us to the single product page. And that should be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. 
If you like this video, please smash the like button and the subscribe button. This will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week. Thanks again.